What's going on guys, this is Kedar here. Error NP34958-9 and people can't use the content, cannot connect to the server to verify their licenses. When you try to open up any game or any application, you get this message where it gives you the steps to activate your PS4 as a primary PS4 but if you try to follow this method, all it gives you is error NP34958-9. If you got this exact error guys, don't worry, I have got the exact fix for this issue so without a further ado let me show you how you can fix this one so when you try to activate your ps4 as a primary ps4 all it gives you this np3495-9 error so don't worry guys today in this video i'll be showing you how to activate this ps4 as a primary ps4 and how you can solve this error all right so i was browsing through the reddit to find out for the solution for this np3495-9 error and i stumbled upon the solution guys this fellow is genius Genius. he found out the solution and it works flawlessly this one just works like a charm like how does it exactly works i don't know even the guys at playstation didn't manage to find a solution there is no update as of right now ask playstation is kind of quiet they didn't got any solution so this reddit post is kind of like god coming to rescue so let me show you how you can fix this one all right so first of all you need to go to the settings network set up internet connection into your playstation 4 then as per your network connection whether you are using Wi-Fi or LAN, choose whatever connection that you are using for internet connection. After you select either Wi-Fi or LAN, you need to go and to select custom for your internet settings and then set IP address settings to automatic then you need to change dhcp host name to do not specify then right after that dns settings you switch it to the manual option because we'll be going to set couple of manual parameters first important parameter is setting the primary dns and second one is the secondary dns so all you need to do is set your primary dns to 1.1.1.1 which i think it's a cloud pair dns which is a uh, quite a fastest dns and you need to set a secondary DNS to 1.0.0.1 so after you set all those primary and secondary DNS set MTU setting to automatic and remember you shouldn't use any proxy servers VPN don't use that it will interfere with your PlayStation Network connection last step is do not use the test internet connection because this might ruin the thing so don't do the test internet connection and here is the thing guys if setting DNS worked out for you do let me know in the comments down below which dns worked because here is the thing setting 1.1.1.1 might work for pretty much 95 percent of the people but you may need to find your particular region dns so just search just do a google search your region and pass this dns accordingly you might need to set those primary and secondary dns but for most of the people these dns work just fine now does it work for you do let me know in the comments down below absolutely it works for everybody so make sure to hit that like share this video subscribe and this is Kedar from Hotto guys see you in the next video